Meanwhile, thousands of people didn't let the bitter cold and flurries in Lexington stop them from participating in this year's Freedom March. The march honors slain civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. LEX 18's Jacqueline Nye was there and has tonight's big story at 530. Luther King Jr. Deep stood for peace my heart. and equality. I was in high school in 1968 when Martin Luther King was assassinated, and thanks to him, I had a chance to go to the University of Kentucky, and it opened up the whole world for me. So this means a great deal to me. Thousands of people flooded the streets for a freedom march to celebrate Dr. King and his message. Like I said, I'm alone. <laughs> But I remember my first one. I was at the first one. With no school today. It's incredible. Many students from Central Kentucky took the opportunity to commemorate history. I'm just glad to be here, to be here with my students, my Kappa League boys from Leestown Middle School, so they can enjoy and understand what Martin Luther King died for and why we're here marching. There's so many people of all different races and origins, and it shows how no, no matter what color you are, you can still stand for equality. He's kind of my hero. Uh, he's just, like, I love the equal rights that he would protest for. And I love that he would do it peacefully. Everybody sing it. The Freedom March was led by Governor Andy Bashir and Lexington Mayor Linda Gorton. In Lexington, Jacqueline Nye, LEX 18 News. <laughs>